Easy Muck Coins provide safe Madden 22 coins and they have the cheapest prices among all the sites. It's a trusted website. Please use my code GS to enjoy 5% off and make sure you follow their official Twitter at Easy Mutt one for coin giveaways and more. What up? What's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy GS. Welcome back to another Madden 22 video. First and foremost, man, let me go on ahead and say I the, the support has been very good. I, I know we're starting off very, very little. You know, just a few hundred views. And, you know, I've neglected this channel for years. Uh, several years. So, the fact that I'm getting any views is... Is astounding. I just want to go ahead and say thank you, man, for you guys that have been checking out the A to Z series. And today we have made it to the test user. He is so disrespectful. We have made it to the Cardinals. And this team, let me tell you, this is by far the best team I've used this year. The, the amount of pass rushing just uh, pressure I'm able to get. Well, look at, you see the X on the left. Chandler Jones, by the way, another user interception. No soup, you get it, baby. As he goes on ahead and calls it quit. So, obviously, that was a very, very short video. So, we're going to jump right into the next gameplay with the Cardinals. And I'm in love. I'm in love with this team. I hate them in real life because they're in the NFC West. And you guys know I'm a Niners fan. So, I don't get along with any of the Cardinals. <laughs> but in Madden? Oh my lord, they're for you're gonna see. Just take a look at the X's lighting up on the D line. You're gonna take a look at Chandler Jones, you're gonna take a look at uh, the newest addition in JJ Watt, who was able to go on ahead and uh, have it. So look at him on the right side, lighting up with El Toro, edge threat on the left. Oh my lord, two pass rushing ability guys, and they are phenomenal as we go up against the yeah, as we poof, bring in them for big hits. And we start off with a defensive touchdown. Now, uh, the Chargers are actually the team I'm going to be using next in the A2Z series. And they, uh, you know, they don't have a lot of weapons. They, they, got, they got a little some, some, but they don't have too many weapons. And look at Chandler Jones just forcing quick throws. He's getting the, rid of the ball quickly. But Chandler Jones and J.J. Watt, both of them are just able to every single pass play just create great pressure and force, you know, my opponent to get rid of the ball quickly as they have 92 speed Eckler, who is definitely a nice viable weapon in the offense. But uh, look at this time, J.J. Watt over there. And right there, I called the cover two. He made a great read. He just threw it up the seams as he, you know, was kind of like inside the cloud, got over. And that was a great call. I think that was the first time I called cover two right there. And that was a great call. But this right here is, I think, well, no, I, the very first um, half, of, well, a very smidgen of a game where he quit, <laughs> um, he ended up, um, I did get an offensive possession, but this is my real first offensive possession, and we have Kyler Murray, right, and we have DeAndre Hopkins, and we want to be able to take advantage of having escape artists with um Kyler Murray you know being able to go in ahead and you know take off and he's he's dominant in this game you know I call a lot of read options and Connor who's very slow James Connor is very slow he's only like 84 speed or whatever he is but you know um right here just a quick little whoop, quick little throw using the escape artist even though Connor was slow he had himself one amazing game he had a very good game third and nine right here and i made an adjustment i made a hot route and fourth down swagger tree you guys know how we roll um i put the guy on the inside on a slant not the guy on the outside and i thought the guy on the outside was on the slant. i just messed up he was wide open if he was on a slant and I, I just got confused i messed up but right there you see chandler jones Comes off the edge. I look at it every single time on the left. Look, just throws him to the side, and he's forcing quick passes as we get another no soup for you. Big interceptions. This video, some of the most turnovers I've had all year because of the pressure. Man, that man Chandler Jones is amazing. And uh, if you guys seen the, I think the Bucks video where. I stated, you know, the A through Z series, not only am I using, I mean, if that was an interception, I would have been heated, doinked right off his face. Um, I don't like, even though I'm using the team specific playbook offense, I'm using it defensively as well. So I'm using the Cardinals offensive playbook and I'm using the Cardinals defensive playbook as James Conner hits the outside and he's able to take it up into the end zone, giving me a two possession lead. 
Uh, I don't like 245, 146. I, I don't like defenses where my edge rushers are standing up. I prefer them in a three point stance. But here, on the Cardinals, they have, you know, the 246, the nickel 245, or whatever it is. And I don't like them standing up. I don't. But it, it, I just feel like I get better pressure in a three point stance. I just feel like they just animate more, especially when they're active. But Chandler Jones don't give a damn. Chandler Jones is activating literally, look at it, literally every single play. So is JJ Watt. And once again, don't test that user. Another big interception. And it all comes down to the pressure. We're creating savage like pressure by uh, from Chandler Jones and JJY and I'm absolutely loving it. I will say right now out of all the teams I use if I had to you know play my life depended on it right now out of all the teams I've used it's it's the Cardinals uh, the Cardinals just that pass rush alone that pass rush alone if you don't know how to get around it which you know it is simple you know, uh, a play action will negate edge threat every single time. Like, as long as you don't cancel the play action and don't put the running back on a route or whatever, as long as, as Kyler Murray is the outside and he can go Ah, the way as he scampers on into the end zone one time, one time. Um, as long as you don't, you just, you have to leave the play action. Edge threat will never work. It negates it every single time. Our double teaming obviously worked. And you can tell... Uh, uh, he, I don't think he double teamed once, not that I know of, maybe he did, I don't know, but almost got ourselves another interception, and there's Chandler Jones again, he is just everywhere, and the amount of just pressure, he alone is able to cause is absolutely terrorizing my opponent, now they don't really have any ability set up for the run, I do know that I seen uh, Tiffany play Reich squads yesterday against the Rams. And that man, Aaron Donald, has no outsiders in inside stuff. And he was just blowing up almost every run. And I think he has like El Toro. So like El Aaron Donald is just a, an absolute monster. Uh, uh, right there, I'm not sure what happened. I came out in cover three. Maybe I was on the safety without realizing it. I'm not sure what happened as we get ourselves another interception. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't count as an INT, but... Um, We've just been absolutely uh, dominant. Like Chandler Jones just dominated this game alone. And it has a lot to do with, you know, Ed Stred. And even though he's not getting nine sacks or things like that, he is forcing a lot of these quick and bad throws because, you know, he's obviously has to get rid of the ball quickly or meet Chandler Jones. And you don't want to do that. So um, right here we got Colt McCoy. I, you know, snuck in the backup because I'm trying to give um, – Kyler Murray arrests because, you know, he gets tired and he stays yellow for like a while. Uh, one thing, though, unfortunately, I really didn't do as for the first time. I think he clicked on the read guy or was I think next time. coming. Well, he does one time, though, where he clicks on the read guy. Um, all he he should have been put his read option on uh, right there. Right there. He played it well. He clicked on it straight. Um, but, yeah, one thing I, I didn't do very well, or I should say enough really is, is really try out DeAndre Hopkins because let's not forget they have a 98 overall wideout in DeAndre Hopkins. They're ready to, you know, absolutely ball out for you offensively. And uh, I didn't really utilize him because there was no real need to, you know, because we kept the ball on the ground. He had trouble with the read option. And I'll say this once, I'll say it twice, I'll say it to him blue in the face. Uh, no need for me to switch up my play calling. I don't care. If you see me calling the one play over and over and over and over and over again, it's my opponent's job to go on ahead and stop. And right here, baby, we have to just go on ahead and get it clean for the thumbnail, baby. I needed a little bit more time to talk to my people, and I needed Kyler Murray clean in that thumbnail, baby. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the next gameplay is with the uh, Chargers. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Um, you know, the support has been, you know, really, really, really amazing, man. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, man. Each and every single video you guys tune into, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work to get this channel anywhere consistent, right? Uh, it's going to take a long time for me to average a thousand views a video, but I'm willing to put the work as long as you guys stay with your boy and keep checking out the content. I promise to keep putting out the content. She boys, you guys are going to go ahead and have a second. I appreciate your love and support as always. Until next time, peace. Give it to me, baby.
Yeah, that's a clean thumbnail. That's a clean thumbnail.